another quick lesson on making modular code so let's uh, immediately get going here in Eclipse and as you recall we reintroduced namespaces and forward references and let's just uh, take this one step further let's get rid of having this forward reference here and you can see I created a dot h file and you can do that by going over to your source and saying new header file and then you can call it hello world dot h and you can leave the default template and it'll give you a dot h file and then in here I, I put that same code I put namespace tour bots the open brace void say hello the close brace again this is just a declaration it's not a definition it's no code it's just saying hey once you see this you you know there's gonna be a, a function called say hello somewhere and this is a nice feature of uh, Eclipse you can hover over um, things like reference declarations and it'll show you the code that's getting referenced you can even click in here and the window kinda gets a little stickier and you can do things with it but so back here so now we don't have anything at the top so this still um, this say hello should fail at this point let's see if that's true see if we get a compiler error here and we do um, and that's because remember top down right so we need to tell it uh, about the dot h file and if you remember, we use angle brackets for things that are in the standard library location, which we looked at in the magic, vanishing magic um, screencast. And here we use quotes because it's in our uh, project directory. And it's just called hello world. I'm going to hit, I hit the uh, control space bar to let it finish typing that for me. So hello world.h. Now um, I compile and everything looks good now because it's going over it's doing top down it's going over to hello h it's seeing the promise of a function called say hello so it says okay i'm going to trust you that there's something called say hello and then sure enough here is the say hello and it sees that and everything compiles so we should be able to run this and uh, nothing different is going to happen um, we just m we just got rid of the forward declaration here and moved it into the dot h okay so why do you do that well you do that so that you can start breaking so that everything A doesn't have to be in this one hello world file so that we can have more files. So you come back over to your source folder, you right click, you say new and if you want a class you can say class or you can create separately source and header files and we're going to get into classes and this just uh, puts a little bit of uh, boilerplate code in place for you and it's actually what I used but then I just commented it out so let's come over here and we'll see it created a test h and a test.cpp for me so I commented out and I'm working on some other things but same thing all I have is namespace tour bots the open bracket the close brackets way down here and actually I used to have this called something else so I should update this comment actually I shouldn't even use this comment because <laughs> comments get out of date so I'm telling it okay you know somewhere there's going to be something called say howdy alright so let's go back I haven't written it yet but I'm going to go back to hello world now and I'm going to say okay somewhere tour bots is a say howdy uh, howdy boom and uh, you can see the include dot test dot h is already here so it it'll know that this will compile and actually it'll work because I really did already write it but let's go over and take a look at that and let's save this and so then in the dot cpp namespace tour bots open bracket void is the return type there's no return type say howdy is the name of the function takes no parameters open bracket close bracket c out the test translation unit says howdy and all these um, literal specifiers are I actually want a quote to show up and since a string ends with a quote this basically says hey don't end the string actually write this quote out this one means write this quote out just like this literal means write out a new line not the letter n so there we go so this is gonna say say howdy now so let's come back over to hello world let's compile all this see if we have any compilers everything looks good and so now it's using code that's in a different file and we, when we run we should get both statements the test translation unit says howdy you can see with the quotes and I'm saying hello from somewhere other than Maine so that's how we get to modular code that's how we write our own dot H's that's how we use our own namespaces alright